everyone, it's Eddie at Eddie Makes Art, and today I want to show you um, a new batch of mark makers that I made the other night. Uh, the bowl's back and it is full. Look at that. There's a lot. And um, so I just wanted to go through them and show you what I did, and then also um, make some, uh, do some gel printing on um, our little notebooks here. I will link them below in the description and where you can get them. I got a package of them for, I forgot how much, $8, maybe $9. They were, um, they come in this craft color, brown, and they come in black. So I got a set um, that comes with both. Um, so if you're interested in that, like I said, the, the links will be in the description below. Um, now to the markers or mark makers. I basically started with a few of these. These are um, just foam, you know, fun foam, but they're circles. That's all I had. Um, that's all I had left over. And so I said, you know what, let me just go through. I, I kind of sketched out a few patterns and then just went to town and made a bunch. And um, they're only, I, I cut them out and I have these, sheets of cardboard that are about that big and they come the ones I got they come in the bottom of the bag sometimes uh, when you get an Amazon fresh order um, or sometimes like uh, you get takeout and it's a large shopping bag you get like a piece of cardboard in the bottom that's all I used and um, so I glued my different patterns um, to the larger board and then I cut them down to the individual ones and I got um, all sorts of fun ones, these uh, wavies, these, this doohickey, I don't, you know, honestly, I just, you know, just started drawing and I uh, made some shapes, and what I did is on the back is I used some masking tape, or rather, this is painter's tape, to make a little handle for myself, so when you press it down on the plate, push it down, do, 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 it's easy to lift up, and you won't get your fingerprints, and you won't muss your uh, gel plate, um, so, yeah, so we've got that one. Let's see, let me move the bowl here, I'll lay these out. And you can see um, the different ones I've made. We've got a couple of different size spirals. These are the wavies. Here's a leaf um, with cutouts. And for the leaf, all I really did was I took a pencil and I drew on the foam the flower, the leaf I wanted. And then I drew these little sections and I went in and just with the craft knife, just cut them out. Easy peasy. You just gotta be really careful when you use your craft knife. You don't want to um, go too fast because that's when the blood happens. So um, just, you know, be very careful. I actually got a batch of new craft knives because the one I used was pretty dull and it was gonna get me in trouble. So um, I got these also off Amazon. They come in um, a box and you get half of these and you get, and the other half is the larger one, which is um, great to have both sizes for, you know, all different mixed media projects and crafting. Um, so yeah, okay. So I'll link those below as well. All right, we got this little guy here. I like that one. I try to stay organic with the shapes and kind of, you know, just um, things that I like, shapes that I like, shapes that, you know, um, I could easily do with the foam and a knife or a pencil. I'm not a super good drawer or illustrator, so, you know, it's very, very rudimentary, but... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think those, um, the mark makers um, are a lot more fun and interesting when they are... Um, of our, our, of organic shapes and, you know, sizes and stuff. Um, here's a version of this. And what I did was I took the innards from this and I just put it in here and the innards from this went somewhere else. And I don't remember where, but they went somewhere else. Okay. So that's a good way of using all your little, you know, scraps and stuff. And um, as, you, as you can tell on some of these already, I've done a lot of patterns in threes. Um, and that's just because in 
design, it's not necessarily a rule, but it's, you know, it's, it's a pretty common um, approach that designers take, whether it be floral designers, interior designers, you know, artists, graphic designers, um, things always look better in threes. So that's what we did with these, some of these. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Do a little flower, kind of uh, with their petals cut out. And then I did three of these. Like I said, I'm not good at drawing, so I really didn't, wasn't able to draw these very well, but we got three little flowers, you know, and I could have done them together. I was thinking of doing them together, but then I thought, what if I just wanted to use this size and that size? So I just kept them separate. Um, oh, these, I didn't put the tape on these. That's okay. We'll do that later. And then I've got a, a, like a funky plant. And here we have uh, the larger version of these, this design here. And the way I created these was I cut out this larger shape. So it's solid. And then I went in and I cut out a bigger piece, the, the next piece in. And then I cut out, and then from that piece, I cut this out. And then you end up with this piece. So these all grew from one piece and I just kept, you know, I traced to trace it. So you got one, two, three, four pieces from one, it's like a petal shape almost if you turn it that way. Um, so yeah, it's a good way to create interest, texture, and um, use up all the little bits. This is a fun one. This is just, uh, I don't know what I call this. It's crazy squares. Again, stacked in three. And um, I just, it, I thought it was fun. Some of these edges are a little thinner, but as long as you glue them down well, they, um, they'll work for you. I've used this one a couple of times already and everything is pretty good. Hold it on. It's just, I used hot glue. I like this one. This one's uh, chain or links. I don't, I don't have any names for these yet, but I made these. Um, I had circles and then I cut out the innards of the circles. And so I've got these rings and then I cut, I kind of lined them up where I wanted them and then just cut out the little extra piece so it looks like they're, they're linked together. Um, and then the innards of those circles went in here and I cut more circles out of those. So I have openings there. And then these are, see how this is a circle when I cut certain pieces off that are more straight, you end up with these little curvy triangular pieces. So I just put them on there, a little circular marker. Um, and then this one is just a variety of squares and rectangles. You can use them in different ways. And then this is where I got those squares, the open ones, I call this one frames. Okay, and then this one's kind of a take on this one, but it's straighter lines and there's a lot more. Um, this one is maybe stones, headstones, <laughs> fingers, I don't know, um, but I thought it was a fun shape. And then the last one, this tiny bit, my version of X's, they're not that good, <laughs> but they work. <laughs> and that's really what it's about, is making them work for you. All right, so we're going to put these back in the bowl, and we'll get started on some printing. And um, let's see, bring in our, I'm going to use my 5 by 7 gel plate. These um, the little notebooks, they fit perfectly on there. As you can see, if you lay it down like that, you only have like the edges, and I have some tissue paper here over to my right that I'll use to pick up the extra on the edges so it doesn't get it everywhere and we don't waste paint. Um, and then another YouTuber who watched my previous video when I used, when I made um, to gel printing on these notebooks, she suggested I put the notebook down and then I flip the jelly plate onto it so I get better, more even coverage, you know, so I can line it up easier. So that's what, that's what we're going to do. 
And it helps if you kind of, when you put these down on your paint. So let's say we do this. Okay, you've got it on the plate. When you flip it over, you wanna lift up the pages. And on each side, just kind of go in and give it a nice rub all around. And that's gonna help the paint adhere better to your, um, to your surface. All right, so let's peel that bad boy up. I got some colors all around. Um, let's pick a marker first. I think that's the first thing we wanted. We should do. Which one do we want to use today? Oh, he fell out, so we're going to use that one. And maybe, let's see. We could use both of these. Right, we'll start with one, and we'll see what we get. Uh, let's see, what colors do we want? We can start with... We'll start with the lighter one. Let's start with, what do we have here? You know what, we're gonna go basic. We'll start with some um, parchment, uh, Liquitex acrylic basics. A little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit in the middle. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies are misbehaving today. Okay, yeah, get that off there. What is that? All right. <clears throat> I just cleaned this this morning and I'm like seeing all sorts of stuff. But I think that's just me. All right, let's get that nice and smooth. Hope everyone's doing well today. It's uh, rainy. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm braring off here on the side on some copy paper rainy day here in Boston so it's kind of gloomy and oh another thing I want to tell you is when you're making these marks obviously you're going to pull paint off and there's going to be paint on this guy so what you want to do to save your paint you don't want to waste it is stamp it off on a piece of paper and then you can use that for collage or what have you um let's just go in here we'll do this one you see you get a lot of paint there and we'll do the little one and sometimes if you push too hard you get that little mark but it's no big deal we'll go in with this one again pop that off and we'll go oop, this one okay and then maybe on the edges what if we did these lines here, but just like this. See? Okay, and we'll go down here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we'll take our notebook and we're gonna lay it down. I'm trying to work quickly so my paint doesn't dry on me. Lay it down, I'm gonna have to stand up for this one so I can see better. Okay. And plop it down. Get some coverage there. I'm gonna come in with some tissue. Pick up that paint on the sides. Okay. Oh, I didn't want it on there. Well, that's. That's my bad. Okay. Let's see. Awesome, look at that. How cool is that? You can leave it like that. We can come back later and add more. For now it has to dry. And then we have this stuff left over. Now the center bit, I'm not too worried about because when we put the next notebook on, it's, it's just gonna be there. However, I do wanna take some of it off because it's not, um, I don't want it to be like the prominent color. You know what, we got a little wet wipe here or baby wipe, let's maybe clean it up. Okay. So what we can do now is let's go ahead and add some more color and then we'll do another stamp and you're gonna get another layer of texture. Oh, here's the other thing. Don't leave your stamp face down 
on the uh, on paper because it sticks, but I got them free. Let's see. Okay. It's tough. You got to balance all these little things, and you know, but they're homemade, so you know you you're not really losing much. Um, since we have the circles there, why don't we do use this one, the little squares? And how about we can go up, we'll do a yellow ochre, it's yellow oxide rather. Okay, move some of that down. We don't need a lot of paint on this, you know, because it's, it's a five by seven plate, but also um, when you're stamping off, it doesn't, you know, you don't require a thick layer. I'm doing this just to get it all spread out evenly. Okay. And we'll start here. Go here. And then I'm just gently pressing it to get some of that paint off. I'm not going, you know crazy press but I think you can see this you see you get a nice print with the extra paint that's left on the marker okay. and if they overlap that's cool too okay and then this little section here Now, there are several companies that make these mark types of mark makers or texture plates. Um, you know, so if you don't feel inclined to make your own, do a Google search and you'll find uh, several companies that make these. Um, you know, let's just flip this upside down. But I think it's fun to make your own. And it's it, it gives your art a, a uniqueness. Let's get the next notebook down. All right, here we go. All lined up. Okay. So we'll press. Come in with the tissue again. This time I'm going to take my time so I don't stay in the inside. Still a little bit left there. Okay. Now come on this side. And this side we got to the end, so we're good over here. So I'm just going to give this a little bit firmer rub. And I think it should be good. All right, look, that's our first layer. It's pretty cool. Get some texture there from the, 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 the outline of the square. And then you get that. We got that ghost print from the first book we did. It's pretty cool. All right, set that one to the side. Gotta try. And let's go in. Let's get bolder. How about we do a... Let's go for the red. How about a red... Cadmium red hue, medium hue. Again, in the Liquitex Basics. Fun. Got boogers today. Uh, I'm just going to let this dry just a second. I'm just going to straighten up here. Get myself situated. And we have to pick out a marker, too. What should we do? Hmm... Okay, we have, so I think this might be too big, and I, I, I mean, maybe not. How about we do this one? Let's do that one. Now, what I want to do here, though, 
is I'm gonna take, grab my other gel plate. Here it is. I'm just gonna add some paint to here. This has some stuff in it from last, or yesterday when I was playing around with the new texture plates. I'm gonna put some red paint on here and use this as my palette. And then I'm gonna take the stamp, stamp it in here, and then add it to here because I want the actual plant to be red. Um, and then everything else is, is just background. Okay, I think that's enough paint. That should give us enough. Now with these larger ones, make sure you get, you know, give a good press to all the, the different sections. We'll come over here, do that. Press it down, and this is where your little handle comes in well. Okay, add a little more paint. Now, press. And we can even add more to this because all we've added is this. So we could come in, let's say with the spiral, more interest. We could do it in a, in a different color as well, but I already had the red out. I don't want to waste it. Okay. Let's move you over here. This may have dried, but we will see. Okay. This time we have side and I'm gonna give this a nice press to make sure we got everything and if not that's okay because we're, we're building layers and I think we're just gonna work on the three so this one and the two the first two that we've that we did yeah I see I dried too quickly I didn't have enough paint I knew that was gonna happen, but here's what we'll do. Let's take a contrasting color since we already have that down. We'll take a contrasting color so we can pull up what's on the plate there and add it to our notebook. Let's see what color, I'm spinning my wheel here. I've got the green, I've got purple. Got this gray. Let's just do a yellow. Let's keep it basic here. This is the uh, primary yellow. Now, when we're doing this pickup, we don't want too much paint. So keep it thin. And it's a semi transparent paint, or yeah, semi opaque. So it's, uh, it should pick this up well. Work quickly. Give it a little push. Clean up my tissue. Clean up that line here. Now this tissue I'm using, it's not the the artist, the carnival tissue. Um, this is just a regular wrapping tissue, but it works well for those sorts of things. I'll save my carnival paper for larger work. Okay. We'll come on this side. All right. well, I think we got it. That's cool, huh? I love it. Okay. Set this one to dry, and then we'll go and get our first one here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up because I don't want that transferring to this particular notebook. I'm gonna get as much off as I can with the tissue paper. And then just come in with the baby wipe and clean it up. Now for our next trick, 
let's decide on a pattern we want to use. What if we did? Hmm. What do we have over here? Double squares. Hmm. Maybe something more. Here, let's do the waves. It's a little less. It's not circular, so. And this time, I think we're just going to work on this area here. Okay, but. So when we stamp on here, it's going to show, we put the notebook back on after we paint, it's going to show what's in the background. Um, so I want some of this white, definitely want some of this white to show. Um, and that's what, where this is going to come in. So where we pull the paint off, that, that's where the white or the, the parchment will come through. Um, let's get something transparent. What do I have here? No, 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 no. Prussian? Can do a little Prussian? Would that be too dark? I don't know. Oh, you know what I have? I have some Liquitex over here that are transparent. Sorry about the noise. Banging and clanging over here. Mm -hmm. Let's do this guy, the transparent raw umber. And keep this neutral. All right. Get out of there. I'm putting on a little bit extra than normal because this paint does dry very quickly. And at the moment, my heat is on and it's makes the room very dry. Oh, I got a line on there. Uh, I'm not too worried about the other bits meaning the edges so we're going to focus on the middle as much as possible and then we're going to work fast because like i said this paint likes to dry quickly so let's respect that and move quickly See, I didn't line it up right. That's okay. We're not, not, I'm not going to cry over that. This is way off than from before. I don't know, but let's get in here with the tissue. Clean it up. Under, oh, yeah, I'm off the thing. But let's not cry about it. Because sometimes your boo-boos end up being some of your favorite work. At least for me, is that's the case. Well, I could have done a better job of lifting the paint, but like I said, I was trying to work quickly. Um, so we kind of lost the design in the back. Okay, live and learn. All right, let's let that one dry. We'll go on to the blocks that we did up here. Uh, let's let that dry. I'm okay with that because this is it'll it'll go with this coloring here. Um, now another way we could do this is we could go. Like we did with the other one is put paint here and then stamp it on there so maybe that's what we'll do with this one let's see which stamp do we want we've got those that stack of roundness we've got the frames what else can we do hmm. let's do this flower uh just that a couple times i like i like the print it makes um, and then what color paint do we want? Let's do a do a green. Let's do green. That's the light olive green. Okay. 
in. Let's roll this out. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just take the, the paint on the brayer and roll it right onto my, my stamp. over a little bit put it down okay. it's nice look at that that looks really good and we'll do one on the back okay let's come in with how about some of those smaller flowers? One here. I see one here. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna throw little flowers. Do a couple of big ones. Come on. Yeah, this is why you gotta put handles on this stuff. Right down the center. How about that? All right, and then off the edge. Let's do um, take some of this off. Can we add maybe what we should do, 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 do. Let's do purple. Maybe a little bit of purple here. It's okay. This is the dioxazine purple. Don't be afraid to overlap these. That'll give you a fun, a more interesting um, composition. I think I have some left on here. Let's see. Yeah, we do. And I should keep my fingers off here. Let me try this one again. Let's see. All right. No, that's not the right position. Okay, you know what? We're not going to go over it. I don't want to mess it up anymore. Let's see. Do that corner. Get over here. Get in here. Let's get the medium one. We'll do the same thing. Okay, and then maybe... What if we do some yellow? No, no yellow. Let's let this dry. Do one more flower down here on the bottom. Okay, and then what's our next one? Do we do the other one? Oh yeah. Now this one, let's see if we can get back to this one. This one's already dry. No, I'm kind of bummed. I I, I I went over the design with this uh, this paint, and it's too dark. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, go back to that original one, that original stamp, and then we'll come in with we'll put a stamp over that. There it is. All right, I'm going to clean my palette off here. Taking it off and putting it on the brayer sheet. Uh, nope. Let's get some tissue. 
get off that excess. again. And let's try this again. What? Not enough paint. Come on. Come on, Joker. Here we go. Not enough paint, too much paint. You gotta find your balance with this stuff, with this technique. Or, you know, gel printing in general. Smoosh that around. Get some paint. Okay, there we go. Get some interest back in there. And then we can do, let's see if we have any more paint. I think we do. I'm gonna come in and just go on the edge there. Just give it a little funky edge. Okay, I looked at some of the blue from another session came up on that, that's okay. It gives you interest. All right, and then we have this guy. This one needs some pumping up. Okay, we're all cleaned up. And um, I decided we're going to do a light blue imprint on top of this notebook with the red and the yellow. I'm going to use some light blue permanent and uh, the color shift, the folk art color shift in silica sister. Oh, I can't really read this. I need my glasses. Blue flash, blue brilliant. So this will, um, it says on the back here, blue paint flash shifts to purple. So we get a nice little um, effect going. And then I thought we'd use this marker um, over that. So let me take a little bit of this permanent blue, light blue, and a little more. some of this color shift. We don't need too much. Oof. Messy, messy today, Eddie. I'm right, gonna roll that up, mix it around. Do we need a little more? Oh, I think we're good. Just mix it well. Okay. Let's get some color on here. Paint, a little more. Those edges aren't really doing it. There we go. And then we can just press it on there. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. And we'll do it up here. And I don't want to cover the entire thing up with uh, the blue lines. So I'm going to leave. Um, leave this to the side that's done, and then we'll get something else over here. What if we do the, we already did those, let's do something I haven't done yet. Um, do, ooh, let's do some of this here. I'm just going to smooth this out, so I can get even coverage on my stamp. And basically, I'm not trying to create anything specific, I'm just having fun with the different layers and textures and, and colors. You know, it doesn't have to be anything specific. Just have fun. Okay. I like that. Let's let that dry. Okay. Stamp that off so we don't get paint on everything. All right. And then I think this blue, we're gonna add a little bit more, will work well with that. Um, the notebook we have with the with the umber and the um, 
the parchment color combo. I'm gonna put a little more shine in this one. Now let's pick a pattern. What shall we use? I just totally gunked that up. Yeah, we got it off. Yeah, I'm messy today. Uh, we got the chains. What if we do these? Let's do these blocks. How about that? We're gonna do them um, at an angle. This side. Do how about we go this way? Get more coverage. There. And maybe here. And then let's get there. Like the, that brown and, and, and blue combination. I think it's really fun. All right, let's clean this up. And this right here, I'm just going to finish rolling this paint out. And something else you can do is if you do have your palette that has paint on it and you don't know what to do with it, and grab another notebook. Again, I gotta stand up for this because I wanna make sure I get it even. Okay. And that'll give us a nice blue background for the next notebook. But it's also gonna transfer the textures that we've been playing with on the last two notebooks. Right, so let's get our tissue, clean up the edges. And you see how easily this tears? This is the, the everyday tissue, but yeah. it works well for my purposes here. All right. Oops, sorry about the shaking. Let's see here. Ooh, lovely. And you see, I hope you can see, it transferred a bunch of that texture. You can't really make out what pattern it is, but it's there's texture on there. So I'll make a fun background and let that dry. Uh, I'm running out of space. Here we go. Now with this guy. What do you need? You need something fun on there. What do you need? We have the spirals. This Chahubi. Put in some chains. Some chains. What color do we want? Hmm. I don't want to do gold because that's just going to blend in with the back, the background. Oh, you know what? Pink, rose pink. And again, I'm just gonna lay this paint here out on my um, my five by seven plate. Get some of this extra paint off. And then use this as my palette. I'm gonna spread that out nicely so we don't get too much paint on here. And then I'm gonna, first I'm gonna do the center. Okay, get that spine, nice. Okay, and we'll do here. And then we'll do the other edge. 
I think that notebook's done. I mean, you could always come in with some other stuff, but for me, I think it's done. It's got a nice spring, spring look to it. Let's see that. All right, and then what is our other one here? I think, is this dry enough yet? Yeah, I think we're dry enough here. We're gonna do some chains. Should we do chains on here or something else? Let's do something else. Again, I'm not worried about like, you know, I'm just putting stuff down and and uh, making marks and combining the colors and it's just, it's fun. Why am I turning it? I shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Layer it up there. And sometimes you'll get it, you'll get to the point where like some of the, the foam is not pressing as evenly as the other. That's why you gotta sometimes go in with your fingers and give it a, a little rub. See that little spot there is gonna bug me. So let's come in here and just do one. All right, and then we could do this one here. Ooh. You got some of the color from the previous use of this. That's cool. I'm not worried about that. Let's. That's. Just another layer on there so we got two layers on there and I think we're gonna I'm gonna stop there because I think you get the idea um, but mainly I wanted to show you like you can have a lot of fun and make your own um, texture plates with a little bit of foam some glue and some cardboard and we made these today where's my other one didn't I have the brown one here it is and like I said, you could definitely add more. I can add more to these. I might do that later off camera. But, you know, we got four fun prints. A little notebook. They make great gifts. Put them inside a junk journal. Extra writing. Um, stocking stuffers. Do some green ones for St. Patty's Day. I don't know. Have fun with it. And um, I hope uh, this was a fun video. Uh, sorry for being kind of nasally today, but the allergies are not good. All right, so I'm going to clean up, and um, I hope you um, make your own, and let me know if you do and, and, and how it turns out. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.